Hello and welcome everyone, Lanot here, and today I'm taking a look at a Pacers Panther AS330 SSD. They've sent me their 480 gig capacity version, although the Panther is available in 120 gig, 240 gig, and 960 gig configurations. It features read performance speeds of up to 545 megabytes second and write performance speeds of up to 520 megabytes second. And I'll be running some benchmarks in a moment and comparing that against another SSD uh, for you guys to take a look at. Um, it also features SATA power management, um, ECC engine correction, uh, SDR cache buffering uh, for strength and IO efficiency and support smart commands and NCQ command. And that's it for the specs and stats pretty much as standard form factor for an SSD and uh, we've gone over those speeds. So let's take a look at some benchmarking. I've used two tools, the Crystal Disk Mark um, 5.1.2 and the AS SSD benchmark, the 1.9.5986 blah 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 version. Um, latest versions of both of those that I could download. So up on screen right now we have the Crystal Disk benchmark for both the Epesa on the left and the Samsung Evo on the right. I um, should also say pricing wise the Epesa actually looks like it could be the new king of um, budget SSDs. Traditionally that's a field that Crucial and SanDisk have dominated at around the 95 to 98 pound price mark for at least a 480 gig capacity SSD obviously lower capacity um, storage options will be cheaper but that, that 480 500 gig um, storage size Crucial and SanDisk have uh, have been the cheapest traditionally um, a pacer this comes in on Newegg at $114.99 they are looking to expand their um, to other stores and other online retailers. Uh, it's only available on Newegg at the moment. You can find that linked in the description. Uh, but it should be available elsewhere uh, in the coming months um, as well. Uh, that roughly, today's exchange rate, translates to £88. Um, whereas the Samsung Evo comes in at $159 or £124, uh, pounds. So... There's a fair bit of difference in the price there, and then you know, mentioning all that because, as you can see, in some of the benchmark tests, there's actually not a lot of difference um, in one or two of those tests. And in fact, the read speed of the Apesa in one or two of those uh, benchmarks there being slightly higher than the Evo, although um, across the board, the Evo has the faster write speed. So that's obviously something to consider when you're looking at SSDs but for read speeds and you know when we're talking the Evo uh, ahead of the uh, of the Apesa here in terms of write speed in most cases it's not by very much which is rather surprising and that looks pretty good for the Apesa Panther so we're going to jump on over now to the uh, AS SSD benchmark because uh, I wanted to use multiple tools to you know check the results and see um, what we could get there. So the score overall on the AS SSD benchmark for the Panther is 1047, whereas for the Evo it's 1199, which I sort of expected. And as you can see, there's a bit more of a difference here um, with some of those um, read and write speeds, although again, um, the Epace are showing that in some cases actually got faster read speeds than the Evo. However, as we can see from this test, the Evo does retain that uh, write speed advantage that the Crystal Disk Mark showed as well, especially at 4K. However, with a £30 or more um, price gap, that is not bad at all. And in fact, I'd say rather impressive that Epesa is keeping up pretty darn well, especially on those read speeds and not too badly on those write speeds up against Samsung, which, you know, traditionally I guess are some of the more premium SSDs out there. Um, so I definitely say if you are looking to pick up an SSD at a larger capacity, so potentially one that's not just going to be used for OS storage, but for game storage, which is um, what I've used um, this SSD for, 
uh, as well as some operating inst install testing as well. But I've put a fair few of my, my Steam and Origin games and Uplay games on. With that 480 gig capacity, there's plenty of room to host multiple titles on there uh, without having to worry about constantly deleting them. And I am benefiting certainly from the faster um, read speeds and write speeds over a traditional hard drive, especially on something like Total War Warhammer. Um, in fact, those of you who have been watching my Versus campaign with Warrior Sparta, I actually sent him an SSD um, a few weeks back for our Versus campaign because it was literally taking three, four minutes for him to load out of battles and into battles, whereas for me it was taking a couple of seconds because I had my install on an SSD and he had his on a hard drive. So that just about wraps up my review of the Apesa Panther. I hope you've enjoyed. Feel free to leave any comments and questions down below. As I said, it is only available on Newegg at the moment, but they are looking to expand to uh, other sellers and online stores um, soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I'll come back and update the description and uh, make a comment on this video um, when that does happen as well. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors: XMG, Green Man Gaming, and Overclockers UK. Until next time. Ciao for now.